All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome for the first time or back to another DLJ Works video. And today I wanted to do a quick video on buying, how to actually make your content available for a single purchase or to actually rent and actually make your whole entire account subscription based. I've actually had a question from a commenter. I'll go ahead and give him a shout out. Maybe if he has a YouTube channel, you guys could check him out as well, but or her. I don't really know the gender of this person, but it's Ben Ash, so I'm going to assume that it is a guy. But in any case, though, uh, this person asked the question on YouTube, how do you actually make this possible? And it's fairly simple, you know, and but probably by the time this video has come out, he this person has already figured out how to do it, but I figured it would be a good way to make a video on this anyhow. So how do you make go about creating content and making it subscription and I'm available for a single purchase or a rental and the thing you want to do is you want to go to products so I'm gonna go ahead and click on products again it's gonna bring you back to this screen all right now as you can see I'm on one of my clients accounts and we already have the whole entire delirium TV subscription service available which makes any content that you upload to this platform available for limitless streaming all right that's very important you can only actually do this once because if I go to create product you see that the subscription selection is going to be gray out and your only option is to buy or rent now you have several options here once you actually get to this point you can actually upload content when you go through this process of trying to make a product to buy or rent or you could just go ahead and upload content to your um, Vimeo account and just have it available already so you don't have to go through that hassle of doing so but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and take you through the process of buying and renting and I'm just going to name this anything so my title my description so this y'all probably be self-explanatory you want to add titles and descriptors as relevant to the content that you're uploading here we need to actually add an image that's um, 3840 by 2160 pixels so what I'm going to do now I'm going to open up photo P I already have this available on a new tab we're going to make those dimensions 3000 what was it 800 and let me go back and take a look at that as my 840 okay in width and then height wise it was 2160 okay 2160 uh oh 69 that was a complete accidental push do you want to make your dpi for the resolution very much so 300 so that way it has a very very clean crisp look to it now next I'm going to go ahead and leave the background white and I'm just gonna put some text here when you actually create your dummy text and we can't see that right now so I'm gonna stretch it out we are actually uploading a thumb a thumbnail a thumbnail a thumbnail to your content or your product you want to use these dimensions you can use something like photo P I'll leave a link in the description so you can access it or you can just go to photo P.com very simple to spell so I'm just enter dummy text here this is my thumbnail we're going to export as a PNG because this is going on to the website <coughs> all right that's gonna get saved to my downloads folder now to go back to the OTT replace thumbnail Let's go to my downloads, new project, dummy text. Okay, and there we have it. We have our appropriate thumbnail for this. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to continue. Now, because I already have some videos uploaded for my client on this back end, I'm just going to go ahead, and this is optional as you can see. So I can just go to choose trailer. And I'm going to choose let's see here uh, let me see if I have any available trailer if this my client has any like short trailers here all right so we'll just go here chicken heads that's not it's a it's an actual show but we'll just go ahead with that so you can add a trailer here as you can see I just added some random video for now for your main videos you want to add you can select as many videos as you need to for a single product 
So if you're trying to, let's say if you're trying to just upload a single movie, then you could do that and price it accordingly. If you're trying to upload a single season and make that available for purchase or rental, you can also do that as well. It is so many ways that you can go about doing this. It's all about just adding the right video, knowing what you're trying to create a product for. Is this going to be a movie? Is this going to be a, a little short series that's going to be available for purchase? Or are they going to buy per episode? You can also make each individual episode available. But for now, I'm going to select these four episodes right here available. Okay, we'll go to continue. Distribution. We're going to go ready to sell. You could choose pre-order, and I don't probably have to go into pre-order at all. You pretty much are setting up a time before the actual release date for people to go ahead and make a purchase. So if you're warming people up to a, a product launch, then you can set your pre-order schedule as needed. But we're going to go ahead and make this ready to sell. Now, you want to be very cognizant of specific countries because certain areas, depending on the type of content that you're making, may ban or, or restrict what sort of um video you're you're trying to show so that's something to keep in mind but for now for the sake of this little short tutorial we're going to leave it on worldwide pricing you can either set it on you can either set a rental price we'll set this for the uh, five episodes at let me see they could rent it for three dollars and if they want to buy it it's going to be 7.99 we'll just leave it at that you can also go to accept accept international currencies if you want to Okay, so I'm not really all that fluent in international currency, so I'm going to sound a, a, a bit ignorant on this, but I imagine they've already by default set it to the equivalent. So if I change the rental price by $4 and a purchase price, okay, well, as you can see, it didn't automatically, well, we could refresh it. All right, so we could refresh it and update it so it can actually reflect what you've updated the increased price to in American dollars. All right. So, and then you can go to show more, but for now, we'll just leave this right here and accept international currencies. Then I'm going to go to, and you could also probably update it here as well. So let's see, pay what you want, set minimum price and allow customers to pay what they want. You can enable that, but if you're trying to control the narrative and the pricing of your content, then I would highly suggest against doing this. You know, if you're just trying to create content and you're wanting people to do kind of go to a donation route, I guess you could say, you know, they, they pay what they feel like the value of the content is worth. So that that's very risky because some people may actually think that your content ain't, ain't worth the pool where they're like, man, this was really good, but I'm a cheap bastard. So I'm just going to go ahead and just pay a, a penny for this. You know, you, you, you however you want to do it, however you feel about it, be my guest. You know, you can set the rental period down here as well. Three days, seven days, 14 days, 30 days, all the way up to a whole year. So I don't I never known anybody who set a rental period for a whole entire year, but each is own. So now we have all of our set and set. Let me go ahead and click on this to make sure if this also did kind of a massive um update to all your prices which i went to each individual field and updated them anyway but if you didn't want to do that you could have came down here to the update to current exchange rate and it would have taken care of your international fees as well so let's go to continue all right if you have any extras um i'm guessing for this part right here if you have any extra images maybe some behind the scenes footage um, an additional how to guys, wherever the case may be, maybe some the images or descriptions. If they were treating this like some sort of DVD backing, <coughs> that would be very much so feasible. But let's go to continue. I'm not adding anything extra right now. Okay, customize the purchase experience for your product. So now we could do email receipt. Thank you for purchasing. All right. I'm just going to leave it at that. You can also go to best practices and it'll open up a new tab, kind of giving you um, six ways to engage customers with a custom receipt. So do a blog post to actually show you how to actually really make your email receipt, you know, have a little bit more punch to it to increase those engagement rates. So something that you want to keep in mind for that as well. Let's go ahead and go to publish. Okay, this will publish your product and releases videos. Products and videos are worldwide available. Price is $8.99 to own, $4 to rent. And I can go to publish now, but I don't want this active on my client's account because I'm just doing a tutorial. So we'll just go to publish later. Okay. 
and then we can just go ahead and go to cancel but now let me go ahead and just make it and i'll just go back in and show you how to unselect it so now it's, it's available it's public right now as we speak but what i'm gonna do now because i don't this was a tutorial i'm gonna go ahead and i am going to go to edit soon as it loads up maybe i didn't click it there we go all right so let's see here advance all right so now i'm just going to go ahead and go to remove completely and voila it is gone okay so that's going to be pretty much it for this video in terms of how do you actually set and create products for available for purchase or rental or even subscription remember subscription has to do with your whole entire account whatever content you upload and uploading you can either upload your content as at the time that you're creating a product or you can just go to content which I'll have to do a whole tutorial about this later on how to just upload content you just simply click upload and go this route and just kind of store all of your video projects all in one area set aside categorize them organize them based on seasons based on a series episodically etc etc and depending on your account it'll tell you how many hours you have left of videos that you can actually upload <coughs> to your vimeo ott account i apologize about all the coughing just a little under the weather right now but in any case thank you guys for watching if there's any other way i can help you out with vimeo ott and kind of figuring this out it's a wonderful platform if you're trying to do something away from youtube control a narrative and and the situation of your video content and getting it out to the masses you won't forget you won't regret it i think it's a great platform i'm uh, my client is using it and i'm helping this person work through whatever they need in terms of servicing their audience as well with their diverse shows or what have you anyway like comment subscribe to my channel dlj works look forward to hearing your feedback and whatever else you need help from me on thanks again be sure to watch this video up here Talk to you guys soon.